It's episode 30 and wow, what a journey we've crossed on Outsourcing Live. This is a special one where I interview one of Australia's top dating coaches. Okay, stay with me. You'll soon discover how he got over 6 million views on his YouTube channel. Plus, he reveals how he's outsourced a lot of this work. Also, towards the end, inside the quick tip, I'll share with you a simple and easy to use drawing program that will dazzle your viewers. So, let's get into it. Want to get tons of leads from YouTube without breaking a sweat? Outsourcing you. Yeah. Oh, go again. This is Outsourcing Live with Tyrone Shum. Outsourcing the hard stuff so you can focus on the fun stuff. And welcome on to this next podcast. Well, I want to just firstly say a big, big thank you to Dan Lyons from How to Make Podcasts Like a Pro. He did an amazing brand new intro for me and this is dedicated for you guys here on the podcast. I thought it was about time to update the intro to reflect exactly the new branding on our Outsourcing Live website. Now, if you haven't checked it out, go to outsourcinglive.com and you'll see a complete revamp of our website and also a brand new logo and also a theme and scheme. And what we wanted to do was just to keep that consistent all throughout all our content that I produce online. So, thank you again to Dan. And if you do want to check out and get an amazing podcast intro, outro or anything that you want to add to your podcast to make it sound really professional, uh, definitely check him out. It's uh, how to make podcasts like a pro. And I'll make sure that I put down a link down there for Dan's uh, website as well. So, thanks again to Dan. There's been a lot that's been happening and I recently released a monthly report of what's been going on on our website and over the whole year, we've had some amazing growth. So, I want to just thank you so much for firstly, being part of this podcast and listening to everything. I've just announced that we've made over 20,000 or had over 25,000 downloads just from iTunes alone since I've been tracking it on September of 2011. So, that's an amazing effort there and it just keeps rolling and rolling and I'm really, really excited to continue to uh, help you guys deliver more information about outsourcing and also talking more about how to be able to do video marketing combined with outsourcing as well. So, it's really, really exciting to hear that and I thank you so much continuously for all these reviews because I really appreciate the feedback and also really, really appreciate any of your comments that you leave on there. Now, if you do want to submit any comments or any questions to the show because what I'll do is I'll make sure I answer them in a, what we call like maybe a listener love kind of show. It's up to you guys what you want me to call it. Uh, just send it over to questions at outsourcinglive.com and I'll make sure that I answer one of these questions or any of your questions onto the podcast. Now, obviously, there's, if there's going to be a lot of questions there, I'll have to pick and choose but I'll make sure that I do answer any of your questions there and maybe, you know, you might hear your question answered inside this podcast as well. Cool. Well, that's been pretty much what's been happening here. I highly recommend that you do go and check out the blog because there's been so many cool things that have been happening and lots of interaction going on. So, let's jump into today's featured segment on an interview that I did with a success coach and you'll find out exactly how he got over 6 million views from his YouTube channel. Really, really excited today because I have a special guest on the line today and this is a very, very unique case study that I want to share with you and the guest speaker that I'm going to be actually talking with. It's nothing to do with really internet marketing or video marketing. It's actually sort of left out of field and I wanted to get him on the call because he's a really good friend of mine. Uh, he's part of my mastermind group as well and he's done some amazing things on YouTube with videos. So, let me introduce you to Alex Colson. Welcome to the Hi, call. Hi, How Thanks, mate. How are you? <laughs> excellent, excellent. Really, really excited to have you on because you've done some amazing things with your YouTube channel and also too in the uh, dating industry. So, I may as well, before we get into finding out a little bit more about what you've done, maybe share a little bit more about what your sites are and also to let people know, you know what's been happening there as well. Yeah, sure. No worries. Well, I have a couple of sites but I started about five years ago with uh, just uploading basic videos of me giving dating advice out. Uh, so, just for those who don't know anything about me, uh, I'm actually a dating coach. I consider myself uh, Australia's one of Australia's leading dating experts and I just give dating advice to men on how to meet more women, how to approach women, how, just how to start normal conversations without fear or nervousness and I basically do a vlog oh. which uh, is a video blog. Mm -hmm. 
and I release videos constantly. Uh, I have several different YouTube channels, which I'll talk to uh, you know, to, to to you uh, shortly about. But I upload video uh, massive amounts of videos. I have roughly about uh, in one YouTube channel, I have about a hundred. Uh, 150 videos in one YouTube channel, and I've got uh, one, two, I've got about four different uh, YouTube channels. So, a lot of my traffic, and for those you know who, a lot of my traffic, a lot of my conversions, a lot of my success over the last five years uh, has been actually with uh, videos, making videos and and uploading videos and editing. I do all my own editing. I don't outsource that, not because I, I don't want to, but because uh, you know most of the people watching my videos don't approve. You know they. They can. I can tell. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I don't, they don't have. They don't need a fancy graphics flying in and, and all that. I'm just basically sitting in my kitchen. It's just Windows Movie Maker, and I just cut and, and edit my uh, my own videos. I've done no courses at all in the past. I've just that's what um, that's what my subscribers like. That's excellent. Now I should probably reveal a little statistic here. The reason why I've got Alex on the call is because he's achieved just for one of his YouTube channels over six million views. So that's absolutely astounding. And I know from time to time Alex gets the usual, "Hey, I know you. You're Alex <laughs> on the streets." <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we, we've had a little bit of a joke about that, an inside joke, which I won't reveal here. But <laughs> but the reason why is really that, and I'm sure that a lot of listeners listeners who are on this call want to probably know how the heck did you get that many people because you know to start out and get a YouTube channel going and also to get that many videos I mean 150 is quite a lot but I know that a lot of other people have probably done hundreds and thousands and have not even achieved 6 million views like you have on your channel so with succeed with dating or succeed at dating as well uh, how did you start off with I guess your first videos and then where did it gain that traction to be able to Take that snow, snowball effect. Yeah, no worries. Well, uh, how I started was uh, my friend said to me, Alex, make some videos. Give some basic dating advice out. There were many people already doing this, but uh, I gave it a bit of a, my own spin. I sort of uh, I tagged my videos correctly, which is very important, especially if you want to start video marketing. If you want to upload videos to get traffic or to get people visiting your website or to get people knowing about you, you do need a tag. Uh, your videos correctly and that's exactly what I did. I made sure that my titles were perfectly uh, tagged, like tagged, I went to, you know, I properly researched what people were looking for on Google and on YouTube and I basically tagged them, um, I tagged them appropriately. Okay. Uh, so Alex, say for example, if people don't know what tags are, okay. ma- yeah, maybe explain that because Let's say with, let's take an example then. With any one of your videos, if you're uploading a brand new video up to YouTube, what is it that you usually do first? Do you usually just upload the video first and then go into the YouTube search to type a keyword that you're searching for or that, that people are potentially searching for and then add it to the video? Or how do you go about that? Sure, that's actually a good question. The first thing you need to do if you want to start doing video marketing is research what people are looking for. So what information are they Googling and what information are they looking for when they go to YouTube? Because usually you can find it out. Uh, the Google Keyword Selector Tool, if you go to Google and type that in, Google Keyword Selector Tool or you know, use Market Samurai, which, is, uh, you know, which Tyrone recommends, uh, you can actually find out what people are looking for and then you make videos based on that criteria. So that way when people are watching your videos, they're like, oh great, well, I'm glad I, I was looking for that video and Alex delivered on that content. That's great, I might just click through to his website. So that's, uh, but basically tagging, in relation to your question, Tyrone, tagging, uh, there's three parts to uploading a video. Uh, you need you need to title it correctly. So, what is the title of the video? So, I made a video one day on how to start conversations with women, you know, as you oh, and in coffee shops. Hmm. So, when you're having a coffee, how do you start conversations with, uh, you know, the the girl working there, which is, you know, how to basically flirt with her. <laughs> so, I tagged the video uh, how to flirt with um, coffee waitresses, and then I made a description under the video, uh, which which had my website. I not many people actually put their website in. They should because it's a it's a good link from a from a high uh, PR or page ranked uh, website. But put your link to your website in the description bar and then put a description. So my description was learn how to uh, start conversations with women in coffee shops. 
and strike up conversations, ask for a phone number or make a laugh uh, and visit my website if you'd like to find out more information. That's all I put there. Huh. And then I tagged and then I tagged the, uh, the video with um, coffee shop, start conversations with women, attract women, talk to women. And if you Google those or if you go to Google Keyword Selector, those, the top three keywords for meeting women and attracting women are meet women, attract women, talk to women, uh, start conversation with women. They're huge. And I made sure I included those tags in the video. So that's pretty basically, much it's reverse engineering. You just go out and find out what the market wants first before you even create a video. Is that correct to say? That's exactly right, Tarun. So I find what people are looking for and then I make videos and content based on that and then that's it. They pretty much it's 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 foolproof because uh, uh, people are looking for it. I know they're looking for it and I just satisfy that, that demand. Well, it sounds very easy but let's let's say when you're first starting out and this is for any, I guess, person who's in any market. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're in a dating market or the outsourcing market or the video marketing market but uh, I guess the first thing is you've got a blank channel, you're a complete clean slate and it's blank. There's no videos, no nothing up there. As soon as you have created that first video, as you said, and you've uploaded it, how do you get people to start viewing it? Because not necessarily will your video rank on the first page for that keyword term, right? <laughs> it's not like, you know, if you, if you suddenly got in, say, how to meet women or how to flirt with women, do you think your video, first video will get onto the first page of that keyword term? Sometimes, yes, but in most cases, not really unless you start getting uh, massive amounts of views to that video and then that way you get pushed up in the related video section. So for those people listening to this now, that they're, they're thinking, what the hell is Alex talking about? <laughs> <laughs> if you watch a video on YouTube, uh, usually to the right of the video, there's a related videos column where it shows you videos related to the video you're watching at that time. So if you're watching a video on, on how to train a, ch a chihuahua, Next, in the related videos to the right, there might be how to train bulldogs or how to uh, train your dog to not bark. And there'd be related videos in there. So if you, uh, if you make a video today and you want to jump in on that niche and get a video, you know, get your video being watched hundreds and hundreds of times within the first, you know, first day, you need to tag it correctly and you need to get people uh, – I mean, if you want to be put on the front page, you do need people watching your video fast. Um, uh, and you can do that for a number of ways. Uh, I did it. it. Hmm, okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, one, one way was promoted videos. I actually promoted uh, some of my videos. That, is, that isn't how I got six million. I started doing that after I broke that, uh, that barrier. But I, I, I'm actually selling a lot of my products through promoted videos because not many people in my uh, industry are doing it. And actually, not many people in other industries have caught on to that. Um, not, not many people are using promoted videos function, but what you need to do is uh, you make a video, something uh, talking about, really talking about your website and selling it on, uh, selling the content on your website. So for example, I'll use, I'll use my dating business. I would make a video, I would say, hey everybody, if you'd like to learn how to meet women during the day, strike up natural conversations, uh, how to get a uh, you know, girlfriend, how to start conversations without fear or nervousness, just head over to my website at www.mywebsite.com. And then I would, I would upload a video and I would go to Google AdWords. And there's, there's heaps of training on this. There's heaps of free training on it. Uh, if you type in you know, ad, uh, how to get promoted videos, there's heaps of videos showing you how to upload your video. And basically, uh, within the first probably day, I had about a 1,000 people watching it. Uh, on that video, uh, a certain video that I uploaded the same day, about a thousand people through promoted the promoted videos function. That's pretty cool. Which is, yeah, it is quite cool, and I, I it's actually quite cheap as well. If, if many people are here are advertising or have used Google AdWords before, it can get quite expensive. But because promoted videos it hasn't really taken off yet, uh, there are some industries that uh, still are quite competitive, but no one's using. Um, promoted videos, for example, how to get six-pack abs. There's not many people doing it. It's like one person doing that right really? now. Really? Oh, okay. I see that ad all the time. That ad comes mm. up literally a promoted video, how do you get six-pack abs. So yeah, and it's had over a million views yeah, as well. So, something like that, how much would that cost to, to advertise? Like, Is it per, based on view or is it based on clicks? How does that work? It's based on a few things. Uh, same with ad, the general AdWords 
It's based on um, the video. Has it got many likes? Has it got many dislikes? Are people putting a thumbs up to it or thumbs down? But uh, usually, if you're ch if you've got a lot of videos on your channel, like I pay three cents oh, to, for one is, person to watch one of my videos. Yeah, that is cheap. It is. So if someone types in how to attract women, which is huge on YouTube, it's massive. It's uh, I I'm top number one usually. Um, there's only another two or three people. Uh, I pay three cents, and that's probably because I've got uh, massive amounts of video channels, and people mm. are actually thumbsing up, you know, putting a thumb up for my video, saying it's an awesome video. Uh, but also, maybe there's not many competitors. That's probably why it's cheap. Mm. But uh, if, yeah, so for those listeners who have businesses and, and and decide to make a video or a couple of videos, definitely try out promoted videos and investigate in that because you'll find there's a lot of uh, missed, uh, oh sorry, a lot of opportunity there right now. Okay, so you sort of debunked a myth because I, I also personally thought that promoted videos would cost quite a bit of money just like how Google AdSense does. Oh, sorry, Google AdWords, I should say. And mm -hmm. Google AdWords, I know, has been quite expensive for me to run, particularly in, in this particular niche that I run in. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it'll be interesting to try that out. I'll definitely take that on board. So, you'd recommend, I guess, one thing is promoted videos to get your videos out onto where the related section is next to those videos. Any yes. other uh, tips on how to be able to get your videos next to the related videos besides using promoted videos? Yeah, there are there are a few ways. You want to um, you can actually take existing videos that are very popular and uh, do commentaries on those videos. Uh, someone actually did that for one of my websites. They they became a member, so they bought one of my packages, uh, my dating packages, and then they went into the website and made a review of my. My product, that's and smart. then put that on YouTube, which is um, I'm okay with that. That's fine. <laughs> and then that 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 video ended up getting about twenty thousand views, and he ended up sending more traffic to my website. He was an affiliate as well, and uh, so that actually helped. And when you actually view some of my videos, his affiliate videos pop up just to the right in the related section of my videos, and he gets a lot of traffic as well because uh, he took one of my existing videos, the same title, and uh, just made a commentary on that. You can actually post replies. You know how on videos you can actually post a reply mm. or post a comment. Like a video you can post response. a video comment. Exactly. You can post a video response and uh, that would be uh, tagged quite close to the video as so well. You're, what, you're, what I understand is it's okay then to go in there to say get a video that has got a lot of views like 100,000 views and to do a mm. commentary replying back to that video and hopefully if that video already has a lot of views, you can get some of that traffic or those people who are watching that video to come to you to have a look at your video. Is that sort of on the lines of what we're saying? Yep, that's fine. I mean, if you're giving a great, if you're taking that video and making good commentary in that video, which actually adds value, then by all means, that it would be, it'd be that's a great way to get, uh, to get traffic um, uh, to your video. There is another uh, tool I like to a giveaway, if that's all right, Tyrone. Sure. Anything, anything that you want to give away, I'm more than happy for you to. <laughs> Great. Well, I, I started a, a business, another business with her uh, about a year and a half ago, and this uh, this business is all about importing from. So I've got different niches, and this one's all about importing from China, which isn't a big niche. It's not. It's not. You know, there's not many competitors, and it's not really that popular either. It's quite boring, but uh, we managed. I managed to use a tool, oh, sorry, a website called WikiHow. So if you Google mm -hmm. WikiHow, Wiki kind of like Wikipedia, but it's called WikiHow. Um, these are basically uh, how-to pages on how to do certain things. So uh, it's, and on those pages, you can actually add your YouTube videos. So I remember making a video. Uh, it was all about how to import from China and. And uh, we made this video and we put it on a WikiHow page, which is on how to import from China. And within, within about an hour, I had about 50 views already on that video, which got – and started counting, started building a count. And this was – this was, oh, oh, man, I put this on about, about a year ago. And our channel has pretty much exploded. We've had, in less than a year, about 100,000 video views on yeah, this channel. That's amazing. And, and a lot of it actually comes from WikiHow. So, and it, it's another unknown resource that not many people are taking advantage of right now, uh, because there's heaps of um, there's heaps of uh, niches, like especially dog training. That was one I was doing a, a video showing a friend one day 
on no, how no one's take, on using WikiHow and I typed in dog training or how to train a dog and WikiHow on, on Google was number one. And I clicked on it and no one had the video there. So I just added somebody's video, uh, someone else's video uh, from YouTube and um, <laughs> I noticed, I just, I monitored the video page for the next couple of days. I noticed their video views just like going up very, like a lot. Uh, like every day it was going up by two, 300 views. And I was like, whoa, this is, you know, this person doesn't even know I'm doing a great favor for them. Just, <laughs> <laughs> you should go back to them and say, hey, look what I did for you. <laughs> yeah. Would you like me to do some more videos for you? <laughs> that, that's how I, I kind of test sometimes. I had someone else's video there just to test whether or not it's a good niche. And uh, their video views started going up. I'm like, wow. And not many people, again, are using WikiHow. And this is a great opportunity to add your videos to content relevant. Uh, you know, if you have a niche it's, uh, that's relevant and hasn't, got any videos added to WikiHow, then by all means, add your video. It's free traffic. Yeah. Wow. That, that's very smart. And also too, from what I understand, this is just from what I hear and YouTube has mentioned it, is that if you do embed your videos out onto other sites out there, it's actually a plus for you because somehow it, it detects that you've got more embeds out besides inside YouTube but outside of YouTube on blogs and other channels as well. And that way, it's sort of another plus, like a thumbs up for your video and that way, it should generate um, a lot more interest and rank your video higher. Correct me if I'm wrong though. <laughs> no, that's I, I've heard the same sort of thing as well. Yeah. Mm. So, that, I think that's very similar, especially if you embed your video on WikiHow, which has got a very high authority site, it probably would mm. help you rank your video much higher, much quicker too. So, that's a very that's smart right. move to do. <laughs> I'm loving all these tips. Man, I, what else can I ask you, Alex? <laughs> well, uh, the, reason, uh, the reason why I actually made these videos is uh, for traffic. Uh, mm. There are some videos out there that have millions and millions of views. There's the niche on how to do music, like how to play piano online or how to learn guitar. One video in that niche has like 13 million views, Oof. like one video. That's huge. And this person, yeah, they don't even uh, – this person – uh, as, as a link to their ebook where they teach people how to play guitar online and um, they must be it's a very successful company now that, but the guy who, di uh, who actually made the video it isn't a professional video like they don't have big green screen black uh, backdrops they don't have light expensive lighting it's just some guy in his bedroom playing a guitar and he's got 13 million hits and uh, he would be quite successful now selling his ebook Definitely. but uh, yeah, I'm just saying the the reason why if, if you have a business or you sell something online, by all means, you start making videos because what you'll find is it'll start uh, building. You start building rapport with your customers. Like I, we make these videos and people watch them. They go, "Wow, I really like this Alex person. I'd like to find out more information about him." And then they click through uh, to my to my website and hopefully they you know they buy from me. But it's great because it just builds more and more trust. Definitely. That is a huge, huge positive or advantage of having videos on YouTube because I found the same thing as well. People have also said that when they before they've ever met me, they already know who I am and and have also bumped me bumped into me on the street saying, Hey, I know you and I'm like, um, oh hi. <laughs> I've never met you before, but yes, um it's really great to be able to know you beforehand. And it, it breaks down that barrier because when you're reading, say for example, a sales page or text and you've got nothing there of a person but when you start seeing a video of them, it just really makes them feel at ease that they can trust that your your content or whatever you're offering to them is for real because you can't hide behind a video unless you had a mask or something. But That's yeah. right and and actually that's one of the reasons why I found out uh, about you, Tyrone. A couple of years ago, I saw one of your, uh, one of your videos online and um, that's how I found out about one of your seminars and I came to your seminar and met yes, you. Yes, that's but right. It was, all actually, it was all through uh, an outsourcing video that I saw. That's, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Alex has proved it correct. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so if we're going back to your channel, I'd actually like to ask you after this, which actually it's sort of tying really well because you're talking about creating these videos to build trust, but also mm -hmm. too from that they would be interested in visiting your website to potentially purchase your products. Mm -hmm. So what have you done to be able to do that? Because a lot of people are great at being able to upload and put videos in there but they don't know how to convert these people to come over and buy your products or services. How have you done that? Sure. Well, there's a couple of things that I make sure each video I make uh, contains. So first of all is some cool intro. 
Uh, there are some ways you can outsource a cool intro. Um, you know, something with music goes dun 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> That's just embarrassing. No, um, it's cool. <laughs> adds a little bit of interest to <laughs> to the podcast. That, it does. It makes it a, a way more interesting. Uh, I went to Fiverr dot com. And I think you recommended that mm. a while back, especially at your seminar. You recommended that um, it's www. five r with uh, an r, an extra r at the end. dot com. And I, I paid five dollars to this lady, and she made a a, a nice looking uh, intro, and I used that in one of my videos. And I made sure each vi- uh, each video had my link in it as well. I see so many videos on YouTube, and no one's putting their link in. No one's actually having a link to their website where they should. Most definitely do that. If they're if they're making the video solely to get traffic and build trust and rapport, then have a link in it. Uh, so whatever your website is, put that actually in the video, and it, this can easily be done. You don't need um, you know editing experience. If you go to Windows Movie Maker, that's what I use for the first uh, first two years of editing all my videos. Um, it's easily as a drag and drop. You just drag and drop it. Type in your your web address, and that's it. And uh, at the end of each one of my videos, I always have uh, an action step. And the action step is: it's not to watch another one of my videos on YouTube. It's actually to go to my website. So I always promise them something of free value. So, for example, it would be like: if you'd like to find out more information or, or get f- more free videos from me, go to succeedatdating.com, and I'll see you there. And that's it. That's all I do at the end of each video, and that actually brings in more. Uh, more traffic to my website. My business right now, I'm not spending. I'm spending about ten bucks a week on on advertising, promoted videos. The rest of my traffic or my sales come from uh, YouTube uh, as free, just free traffic. It's great. It's like a it's like a, a traffic tap. Yeah, it is. It just keeps coming and coming. And you can't stop yeah. it. If you wanted to, you wouldn't be able to, would you? <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah. yeah, that's right. And there is a. Uh, there is one more thing I would like to add, and uh, this isn't really. Some people might look at this and go, "Hmm, that's a little sneaky." But uh, I have no moral issue with this, and you, you, you be the judge of this. Okay. Uh, I take I take my videos. The reason uh, why we've had so many video views on uh, one video, my on uh, one video channel, we've had about six million thirty one thousand views and then I've got another four different channels. Another channel will have uh, close to 700,000 views and another channel we have about 850,000 views and I've actually got another two more channels um, with ha- which have massive amounts of views. The reason why I have so many different channels and not just one is I take my existing videos and then I duplicate those videos and put them on another channel. There's nothing stopping you if you upload 10 videos to your YouTube channel. There's nothing stopping you from actually signing up and with to uh, to another account and uploading those same videos to that account. Hmm. And that and you're just spreading pretty much you're just spreading your web, you're just spreading your arms getting more getting more traffic. If your videos are great and they help people solve a problem or you know solve solve an issue, then you should be doing your best by sp- Putting your videos out there as much as you can um, to get them to you know to find out about you and your and your 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 your, um, your product. So that's exactly what I did. I I took my videos and I just put them on four different channels, and I didn't think much of it to start off with. I didn't really monitor the traffic, but there was a. I noticed probably about two or three months later that more and more traffic was coming our way and, and it wasn't until I checked out the YouTube channel page I noticed we had about 300,000 views and counting wow. on those channels and some people can't even get 1,000 views. I was going to uh, say, a lot of people can't even get that. <laughs> so, yeah. basically, the original videos that you had from your first channel, you've uploaded into another channel which you named something else. Is that Exactly. I, you're going to have to bust this myth because I don't believe in that. I'm going to challenge you on this, Alex. Sure. <laughs> I usually don't do this. But what about unique content and unique, yeah, unique content on the web? Because Google usually does, doesn't does like that as well. They they really do punish, I guess, yep, yep. sites They're... have duplicate content, not necessarily video because they can't tell. But if they mm-hmm. do have written content that's duplicate, they don't like that. And, you know, they can easily get into the sandbox for that. Obviously, YouTube hasn't done anything to to see that. That that that's fine. Uh, YouTube actually uh, recently, just recently, they started monitoring uh, YouTube uh, YouTube videos. So uh, 
Again, this is just something I did. It's very simple to do. I add 10 seconds to each duplicate video I have, and that way um, it doesn't count as the original video. So for those people who can't follow this, it's I take my original 10 videos, and each one of those videos, I just add 10 seconds to that video, and then I upload it to the other channel. And that way, uh, YouTube will never be able to find out it's uh, duplicate content. And, and you raise a good point, Tyrone, about you know, unique content on the web, and um, uh, I, I see YouTube as, it, it's just one huge search engine. YouTube's like, uh, YouTube is uh, the world's second biggest search engine. People typing on YouTube, and it's Google first, and then it's YouTube. Mm. And there is so much content out there. I, I, would, I would say that people looking for my videos, or typing in how to meet women, or how to, how to attract women, or how to get a girlfriend, uh, because there's so many videos, there's thousands and thousands of videos there. Even if I duplicate it 20 times, people might only see one of my videos. <laughs> yeah, it's, I, I kind of actually now think about it, it's possible to do that. I would probably even take it one step further is to edit these videos and take snippets out of it. So that way, you can have different times and different uh, size of the videos, not necessarily exactly. upload exactly that. So in many ways, it's sort of just re publishing the content if we want to put it rather than copying the content because we know that the word copying is not liked too much but uh, if we republish or repurpose the content it's actually not a bad thing or actually it's a good thing exactly and these videos uh, like i said before they're not hard to put together i put so many different uh, uh varieties of videos like for example i might have a, a happy customer of mine that i meet and hopefully all my customers are happy but <laughs> i meet some happy customers in the street and I, I i have my flip video camera and i get their testimonial and i say hey would you mind giving me some feedback about my product and they do they give me video content uh video feedback and i actually put that on my youtube channel and i might do a, a podcast with somebody and then i might turn that audio into a video and put that on my youtube channel so it's not just me necessarily talking to a camera it's it could be different things from podcast video testimonials it could be um uh recent seminars i take little snippets of my recent seminars and i put those in on there as well just to add a bit of uh to mix it up a bit for my subscribers yeah that's definitely a good thing and i guess if you've got content that comes out at different times and content that comes out that's unique and also uh, some republished content, it's all cool to do because the more you get out there, the more that you'll be seen and the more that you'll be, there's a, a higher chance that you'll be found. So that way people can be offered your products as well. Do you, that's do you, exactly right. do you put your same video that you have uploaded or the similar one that you've repurposed on that other channel with exactly the same title tags and also same description and tags or is it changed? Yeah. Uh, it is change, and the reason uh, I do that is there are so many there's so many ways of getting the attention of your your customer, and uh, rather than just I, I, I repurpose the video, but I also change the tags, I change the title, and I change the description um, to something else that's very popular. So, for example, my original video might be on how to attract women, and when I add it to the new YouTube channel, I might title it as how to meet women. It's the same video. It's on pretty much the same topic, but uh, I reap. I actually just I, I make sure it has a new title, new description, new tags because that actually helps reach more people. Hmm. It actually helps with the reach and uh, and helps you know avoiding the duplication issue as well. Yeah, definitely, and it it makes sense to do it that way because there's no point putting exactly the same words and titles into that other channel as well. You may as well That's right. target other keywords as we're talking about there. Exactly. Before we sort of got sidetracked and started talking about creating an, another channel or four other channels we're talking about, uh, the question I guess we we're, were just talking about just then was about getting these views converting over to say leads to convert over to purchasing products on your site. Mm -hmm. Is there a particular process that is involved because You've obviously created a very successful business be behind this, and I think a lot of people would love to know how you've done that as well. So, would you be able to share some of the insights there, Alex? Yeah, sure. Well, uh, first of all, you have the videos to build rapport and trust, and and to get traffic on YouTube. And if they go to your website, there's no point sending them to a website that's you know, there's nothing there. You've got to put mm -hmm. something else. You've got to make sure you have at least an opt-in page, which is usually a name and email address. And I put a video on that page as well. So it's not, I don't just use video for traffic. I use it uh, for opt-ins to get people opting in to my email list. 
I also get it to uh, to convert people to buyers. So, for example, when you opt in to my video, if you go to succeedatdating.com and you opt into that video, there will be a thank you page where I give my content and then I say, hey, uh, watch my free videos below. You'll like it. You'll learn how to meet women and, and attract women. But uh, better yet, if you'd like to get my free, uh, sorry, my home study course, you know, go right down to the bottom of the page and click the button, click to order, and order it now. And I've got a you know 30 day money back guarantee. And I actually say that in a video because it's better if you say it in a video than they're seeing you, uh, seeing your face, hearing your words, and uh, it builds again. It builds more trust, which people need uh, need to uh, to buy from you. But uh, yeah, I use video especially when I'm doing launches as well. If, if you're about to leech, uh, launch a product, I make sure I do a, a video series, four or five different videos launching, uh, launching that, um, that particular product. But Tyrone, I have to say, I have to be honest here, that I would not ever release a product uh, without using at least, at least four or five videos. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree with you. I would totally agree yeah. with you. <laughs> yeah. You need to build that rapport and for people to, to come over to your site, they want to actually see something that's really there. Like if there's no content there to see and to watch, to really build out that rapport because really the four videos that we're talking about here is really a, a long, long sales page. We've broken it down because it's all those main points that you want to convey to them and hopefully by the last video, even probably by second or third video, you've already convince them that you've already got a great product here and that they're willing to buy and they want to buy you know without having to force sell or or promote things heavily to them and then let them make that choice exactly and there's there is a good case study um amazon.com the as we all know the world's number one shopping site where people just buy pretty much anything mm. uh have started using videos and this is the number one they've they number one shopping cart uh shopping site in in the world and they spend millions and millions of dollars every year on marketing, testing different parts of their website. And it just goes to show for those who are still kind of doubting, hmm, is this going to work? Is video going to really help my business? Amazon have recently started using videos because they know it converts. So let's say, for example, you want to buy a video camera and you go to Amazon and you scroll down to the page, you actually see video, uh, actual video demonstration off that camera, pretty much on most products they have out there. Um, eBay is sort of doing the same thing now. Users who have eBay accounts can actually upload um, video reviews of clients and testimonials from um, you know, customer purchases. And they can also actually have uh, demonstrations and how to assemble certain products. But using video definitely does convert people um, to, to buy your product. Wow. It's amazing since you just talked about that because I used to be an avid eBay seller as well too. I haven't been on eBay for a while and it's great that they have implemented that option where you can upload reviews because it would help sell the product much faster and quicker as well too and just builds out that trust that whatever you're selling actually works as well. So it'd be cool. You know, you can actually get onto camera and show them exactly how this phone works and it's it's a second hand phone but it, it's still working whereas people look at pictures go, hmm, still not sure. I want to actually see that picture and I want to come and feel that phone to make sure it is working. So I've had people tell me that they've they've been scammed or had issues with things like that as well online. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, that is amazing. Well, since you're mm -hmm. talking about four of the other sites or three of the other sites that you've got in addition mm -hmm. to succeed with dating, mm -hmm. what's could you share because I know we've talked about this previously, but the other couple sites, you've got one that's also Spanish uh, in a Spanish language as well. And that's yes, done exceptionally yep. well. What was the reasoning behind why you decided to expand into a different language? Well, I wanted to test uh, the Hispanic market, which is quite big in the United States. So what I did is I took my existing videos, I duplicated those videos, and I got, I hired someone. I was also, I outsourced someone. Good, good. <laughs> um, <laughs> to, uh, I outsourced someone live uh, to to down, uh, to actually <clears throat> subtitle each of the videos. And um, re-upload the videos. So now I have my my videos. They're not dubbed. They're just translated and transcribed with like subtitles on it. And uh, I uploaded that to another YouTube channel, which is a YouTube channel. I think it's uh, Congenio de Seduction, which means how to meet women or something like that. I don't speak Spanish, but <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask uh, you, do you speak Spanish? <laughs> I actually hired a. I, I outsourced a, a regular. Uh, sorry, uh, a part-time. 
a Spanish lady in uh, Colombia and she looks after my Spanish site. But uh, on that YouTube channel, I wish I can, I was trying to find it before, but uh, we have about half a million views on that. And that's a, it's only a recent channel. We've, we've had it for less than a year and we just uploaded the videos, the duplicated videos, the tran translated into Spanish. And then we noticed so many people watching the videos, so many Spanish people in Spain and in South America and Mexico just going nuts watching the videos. So we launched a new site, um, a Spanish site. And that Spanish site, we just sell affiliate products in the Spanish niche and it's a regular occurring income. We make about three to four hundred bucks per week just selling affiliate products. Wow. And uh, it's, I, we're not doing anything else. We're not up, I haven't uploaded any new videos uh, there for oh, a couple of months. Um, uh, I've actually also uh, started out, I'm, I uh, recently found a Spanish girl on Fiverr to start making more videos, um, which you can do easily. if you. If you're too scared, if people here think, oh, they've only got faces for radio and they're not really <laughs> confident about putting their uh, to face on video, if they're afraid of doing videos, you can actually get other people to do it for you. Uh, you can go to fiverr.com or you can even go to Odesk or um, Elance, a few other sites that Tyrone recommends and you can actually hire someone on there to do videos for you and content for you and then get them to upload the videos for you. And you just send them the content or scripts. That is so cool. That was actually my next thing I wanted to talk about, which is the outsourcing, because this is an outsourcing podcast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, I mean, it's really great that you've done that, but I think it would be really nice if you wouldn't mind sharing a little bit more about how you came about, say, for example, the girl that you found to talk about in Spanish uh, to do these videos for you. How did you come across her and, and how did you, what did you structure? Because obviously these videos are doing really well. It's a, quite a number of them too. Um, and she, I'm pretty sure she's probably wondering, okay, I should probably get paid more than five bucks to do these videos. Yeah, that's, that's right. And uh, she, uh, uh, it's, the amazing thing is it's, it's still only $5. It's a great thing about Fiverr. But uh, you, you're on the money there, Tyrone. Uh, basically, we, we hired four girls uh, on Fiverr.com. Uh, we pay them five dollars to do uh, roughly a two-minute video, and I find usually two to three minutes is good for my niche, good. because uh, guys, you know, we have short attention spans, and we we don't really want to, uh, you know, spend much time, you know, just <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> watching videos. <laughs> but uh, I I had to talk to my business partner, and we actually came to the conclusion. It took us a while, but uh, guys wanting dating advice would be more uh, likely to take the advice from a girl than a guy. It kind of makes sense when you think about it. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> I'd rather take advice on how to meet girls from a pretty pretty lady rather than uh, from some guy in his kitchen, which is usually where I did most of my videos, just sitting in the kitchen talking <laughs> to the camera. I wonder, I'm wondering if you put a, a below pretty, I wouldn't say ugly, <laughs> girl, mm. I wonder what the effect would be on your channel. <laughs> actually, yeah, that's a good point. I actually think it would be the same. I think guys just prefer to... to get advice from girls and um anyway but we we outsourced uh these four girls to do regular videos every week send a new video in so four new videos every week was being uploaded to our youtube channel mm. and uh we found that guy it's true guys do prefer to uh get advice from um from girls from women, and yep. Yeah, and we, we had four different attractive girls. We had uh, we, we tested. We had a blonde girl. We had a brunette girl. We had a redhead girl. And <laughs> <laughs> you um, tested all sorts of colors. Yeah, we, <laughs> but uh, we found, and this isn't, and Tyrone, this isn't just videos. This is ads as well. We've um, image ads. If anyone's done image ads, if you have a pretty lady in there, or even just a lady in a business suit, just looking, look, you know, in, in a, a picture of a, a, a lady in a business suit, that actually converts much higher than uh, a guy in a business suit. So if you want people to click on your ad or click on your video, have a girl in there because girls and guys click on them more um, universally than, than just than guys. That's so, right, Alex. I I'm getting out of this outsourcing game. You won't see me anymore. I'm just going to go girl in front of Outsourcing Live and they're going to take over all my videos from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well just get my that, wife onto this. <laughs> that, yeah, well, that's right. You probably will actually get uh, get more get more video views. Um, but... Uh, yeah, God, it's just it's just the way it is, and yeah. um, you just got to uh, yeah hire someone to 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 help you out with those videos. But yeah, that's we. I took your advice, Tyrone. I because uh, Ty Tyrone, for those who um, he mentioned before, we were in the mastermind groups every week. We're sort of on track, and we keep keep each uh, each other accountable for our for our tasks and our goals. Uh, 
he he said, Alex, I'm going to make sure you you hire you know you you keep um, you keep to this task of yours. I want you to hire these girls and and get cracking on that. And I did that I did <laughs> yeah. a couple of months ago, and yeah, now it's uh, it's working out fine. With these girls are you know making heaps of videos for us, and we're getting great 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 amount uh, amounts of traffic, which is which is fantastic. That's amazing. I mean, I'm just looking at it, and you've got some amazing content here i'm not going to say women <laughs> content on these channels and they're doing exceptionally well i mean as you said you've got one that's close to six seven hundred thousand views and subscribers are just climbing you know i remember looking at your original site you've had over twelve thousand subscribers and i suspect every time you send it out by those channels or those means you're getting a lot of views because just the subscribers mm. exactly yeah yeah so exactly. it's it's absolutely amazing. Well, Alex, it's been awesome to have you on the call today. I mean, you've Thank s you. shared some amazing gems. I'm I'm just been writing all this down, and I can't wait to go out and implement some of this. You probably start seeing me having other channels. I'm not going to say it's going to be copy <laughs> channels, but <laughs> oh. no, I already, I already did that strategy anyway. But it's working. I can definitely say that it, it works. And I know personally, I I do try to make sure that um. I, I learn as much as I can from every one of you and also to just to be able to implement everything that we discuss about. That's why I thought it'd be great to get Alex on the call today because in our mastermind groups, we talk about all this start, kind of stuff all the time and it's great to share it with everyone. So if people want to get in contact with you, Alex, uh, find out a little bit more about how you've done all these kind of amazing videos, getting up to like 6 million views plus, um, how can they get in contact with you? Yep. Great point. Uh, they just go to alexcoulson.com. So it's alex, A L E X C O U L S O N.com. And uh, yeah, just go there, contact me. It's quite easy to do. And if you have any questions, I'm, I'm there for you. Awesome. Well, I'll definitely be putting down a link at the bottom of this podcast. And if you do want to check out this podcast, it's episode 30. So if you go to outsourcinglive.com forward slash episode 30, you'll be able to see all the show notes and the transcript of this podcast as well. So, thank you again, Alex. It was a, a pleasure to have you on. It's been absolute fun and can't wait thank to you, get Tyrone. you back on in the future as well. No worries. Thanks again. This is Outsourcing Lives Inside, Inside Info. Info. I was recently recommended to try out this amazing blackboard slash whiteboard computer program which allows me to draw on my screen. I can literally do anything here. And it's really, really neat because I could actually cut and paste objects. I can turn any of my objects into different shapes. There's so many different functionalities on it. And the beauty about this is I can also change the background just a simple click of a button. Now, you might be wondering what the name, what's the name of this program? Well, the program is called Simple Diagram. And as its name states, it's very simple to use. Now, if you're watching me on my, I guess, on, on my computer right now, I'm actually just you know, do doodling along here on the blackboard and writing some really amazing stuff. And it it's easy to do because if you've got like a Wacom tablet or Wacom Bamboo tablet, which I have here, I can just make all these really nice cool drawings on my screen. And the great thing as I mentioned is that I can just cut and paste easily. I can just double click on the right hand side here. All these amazing objects like you've got squares, pluses, grids, everything. It's just drag and drop. And it makes life so much easier. You can even look at, uh, oh yeah, here we go, cutting and pasting telephones and fax machines and bubbles and all sorts of stuff. And as I mentioned, this is a great tool for doing that because a lot of people can't draw like me. I'm not the best at drawing, but I'm very good at communicating easily on a blackboard or on a white screen. And especially when I'm doing webinars, this is perfect for that. So I highly recommend you check it out. It's actually at... You can actually download it at outsourcinglive.com forward slash simple diagrams and it'll take you straight to that link to be able to check it out. They give you a free trial and once you try that out, you'll know exactly what I mean. But it's just so beautifully, nicely laid out and it's available for both the Mac and also Windows. So that's an amazing, powerful program that I can recommend if you're doing lots of presentations or you just want to doodle online. It's, it's beautiful to do that and it's very easy to set up one click of install and you're up and away. So definitely check it out and I, it's something I highly recommend. This is definitely going to replace my program that I usually use which is pretty much just on the screen and it's going to be a great little tool to use to 
communicate and run presentations if I do any more webinars, which I will do in the near future. So definitely check it out. As I said, it's at outsourcinglive.com forward slash simple diagrams. Discover more resources to grow your business inside Mass Outsource Mastermind. Watch the video tutorials and follow the easy instructions to take your business to the next level. Start your 30-day no-risk trial membership at freevideoset.com. That's freevideoset.com. This has been Outsourcing Live with Tyrone Shum. Outsourcing the hard stuff so you can focus on the fun stuff.